Hey guys, welcome back. Shah from Ravaz in Lymington. Here to bring you another recipe. What we're gonna cook for you today is a Bengali style fish curry. I'm gonna be using salmon to do this curry, but other fish is also absolutely fine. Just make sure that it's a fairly meaty fish, so a monkfish or a bass, something along those lines. But like I say, I'm using salmon today. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what the ingredients we're gonna be using today are. So the ingredients we're going to be using, we have three cloves of garlic, we have some baby potatoes, we have two small onions finely diced up, we're going to be using some curry powder, some panchpuran, which is the Indian five spice, some blitzed up plum tomatoes, salt for seasoning, we're going to use some oil, and we have some salmon. Right, let's get cooking. Okay, let's get the gas on. Get that pot really nice and hot, and then we're going to add the oil. Right, let's get this oil in. There we are. Let that heat up, and then to that, what we're going to do is we're going to add the five spice, so the punch oil. So a teaspoon of that will go in. There we are. and they will start popping in just a moment. And to that, we're going to add the garlic. So just put those straight in. There we are, those are nice and browned. And to that, we're just going to add the onions. Add some seasoning, a good bit of salt. There we are. And you have to really let those soften and then we're going to mash that all up. Just to help that along, add a dash of water. Right, so they've been softening for about two minutes. Yes. Garlic pieces are now softening up also. We are, and break them up just with the spoon. It's still going to take a few minutes. We're going to add a little bit more water and then we're going to really let those onions caramelize so that you get a really nice thick sauce on this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Give that a stir. Put the lid back on and let it cook. Okay, so those have been cooking for about six or seven minutes now, just to sort of soften up those onions. You can see they've taken on a beautiful brownish, light brownish caramel start light colour. And so those, what we're going to do to those now, is we're going to use a potato masher and mash those up. So turn the heat down and then just go in there and just mash them up. The reason we're not blitzing them if you blitz them in the blender or a food processor, then what that will do, it will give you a completely different flavour. This recipe calls for you to mash them. And what you're trying to do, you're trying to break up those onions so that they make a really nice, thick sauce. You'll also notice that I'm not using a non-stick pot with this recipe because the masher will scratch your non-stick pot. So hence why if you have a stainless steel pot or a big frying pan like this one, preferable to use that. There we are. Give those a quick stir. As you can see, it's gone really nice and thick. And to that, just turn the heat up a little bit. Let those heat back up. And we're going to add the spices and the tomato. Two teaspoons of curry powder. There we are, mix that in. Now always remember to cook out your spices, especially in a fish dish because you want the flavor of the fish. You don't want the flavor of the curried sauce to overpower the fish. So always make sure that you are really cooking out those spices. Now to that, I'm going to add the tomato. I've used about half a can of peeled plum tomato, but I have blitzed that up in the blender. So let's put that in. There we are, and mix that in. Make that sauce really nice and thick, and that will really complement the salmon. 
uh, when we fry it off. So what we're going to do with the salmon shortly is we're going to just season it lightly, salt, pepper, pan fry it and pour that sauce straight over it and that's going to be absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get this sauce finished. So that's now come back up to the boil and what we're going to do, we're going to add the potatoes. Now I've used baby potatoes today but you can use normal potatoes if you don't. Cook those up. Put a lid on that and let that cook through. I'm going to add a dash of water to that just to help those potatoes cook a little bit. There we are. Stir that in. And because they're baby potatoes, they shouldn't actually take too long to cook. Cut a lid back on that and let it cook for about four or five minutes. Okay, so I've given that about four or five minutes. You can see that sauce has thickened up really nicely. Give that a quick little stir and just check that those potatoes are cooked. Grab a fork and just put that, there you go, beautifully cooked all the way through. There we go. Let's turn that gas off and put that to one side and I will show you how to fry off the fish. Okay, to season the fish before we fry it off, what I'm going to do is just a dash of olive oil over them. There we are. And then I'm going to just season them with salt. Good helping of salt. And a good helping of pepper. And rub that in. Get the seasoning all in there. More salt, there we are, and some more pepper, there we are, and just soak that all up, there we are, and those are now ready to fry off. Okay, so I'm going to use a nice non-stick frying pan to fry off the salmon, get the gas on, get that frying pan really nice and hot, add just a dash of oil, there we go, not too much. Okay, so that frying pan is now nice and hot. So what we're going to do, we're going to just put that fish straight in there. Now, I'm holding the fish down with my hands, but do it with a spatula. I've done this on numerous occasions at work, so um, I can stand the heat, but um, it is a very, very hot pan. So just push them down, otherwise they do buckle and you, they curl up always skin side down and then we'll turn it over and just very lightly sear the other side. Salmon, as it cooks, it gets lighter in colour so you really know when it's actually cooked. So very, very easy fish to cook. It's quite meaty as well so you've got a little bit of margin of error in there so that you don't overcook it. So just keep an eye on it. You can see around the edges it's starting to change colour and then when that changes colour just a little bit more we're going to flip it, sear the other side, and that fish is ready. Literally about four or five minutes to cook both sides, and that's it. Okay, so they are cooking away nicely. What we're going to do is we're going to just turn them over. There you go. There we are. And a nice crispy skin on that side, and then just a light sear on the other. Right, there we go. It's been about three or four minutes. You can see that fish has cooked through and that's ready now to go into the curry sauce. Bring it back up to the heat and then we're going to add the fish to that sauce. Now what you should do is just make some space for those fish pieces to go in. Now fish is obviously very delicate, so be careful not to break the fish and just take the sauce from the side and just put it on top. There we are. That is now ready to serve. I'm just going to dish it up and we're going to enjoy that for our dinner this evening. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.